Hi, it's Greg, and today let's see what we can and we cannot do with a Spot CRM starter suit. After talking with a lot of prospects, I realized that even if everyone is 100% convinced that a spot could be a good fit for their activity, a lot of them are blocked with the price. And most of the time, the discussions end with the following sentence. We cannot unlock this kind of budget for a pro version, but let's try with a starter one. And after a test, let's see if we upgrade or not. Indeed, testing a software with a lower subscription is a rational choice. However, the colossal difference in functionality between a starter version and a pro version forced us to create and build our portal in a totally different way. Actually, even if they belong to the same brand and same ecosystem, they don't serve the same target. A spot starter would be a perfect tool for a solopreneur or a small size company, and a spot pro will be perfect for bigger companies. And it is for that reason that it's not a good strategy to start with a starter to test the tool and upgrade to a spot pro because you will not have the same use of these two different plans. On this video, I would like to show you everything you can and you cannot do with the Starter Pro to help you decide which plan is the best for you. The first thing we need to understand is a spot is divided in several modules that they call hubs that serve every single aspect of your business. So we have the Uspot CRM that help you organize and classify your leads, the marketing hub that will help you with lead generation and lead nurturing, the sales hub that will simplify your daily task of your salespeople, the service hub that will help you to have a better customer success and customer retention, and all the analytic features that will help you get a view on your results. So to begin with, let's start with Uspot CRM. So the first feature of a spot is to classify and organize your lead database. Actually, this feature is already available in the free version of a spot, and it's a hub in a spot that presents the less difference between a free version and the enterprise version at 5,000 euros per month. So to understand how the a spot CRM works, we need to understand that a spot classify our leads into objects. So what are objects? Objects are different databases based on the nature of a lead. And basically we find the three main objects that every company are using. We can find the contacts, the the companies and the deals. So now let's take an example to show you how it is. So let's say you have an opportunity with Mr. Martin, who works for Martin Consulting and is about to sign a contract for your service. A spot will automatically classify this opportunity into three objects. The contact, Mr. Martin, works for the company Martin Consulting and they both share the same opportunity, which is new contract Martin Consulting. And this interdependence between all these objects gives you a great freedom of action and a clear understanding of your database at any point of the time. And now that we understand that a spot is classifying our data into different objects, we need to understand that those objects get populated by what we call properties. So it's information about these different objects that we can use for different reasons. We can use them to view information about your leads, segment your database, trigger automations, or build analytical reports. A lot of properties are already in your portal when you log the first time. They are native property and they are information that most of the companies of the world are sharing. For instance, you need to know the first name, the last name, the email, the phone number of a contact. You would need to know the annual revenue or the number of employees of a company, the amount of a deal, etc. etc. But a spot gives you the possibility to create custom properties to match your specific industry needs. Let's say you work in a company that deals with weight loss. You will need to collect the height and weight information of your list to be able to deserve a good service and to qualify them before letting them go to your salespeople. So a spot gives you the possibility to create those properties that you can directly implement into your database. So now that we know how a spot classify and organize the different data of your leads, we need to know that a spot allow you to segment your database through what we call lists. A list is a group of leads that share the same characteristics. So as we said before, the same properties. Those lists can be used as an audience for marketing campaigns, trigger automations, or for analytic reports. Your list can be fixed as a time of their creation, static list or they can evolve full time based on the properties you choose to segment your database active list so now you know how a spot crm is working and what you can do with the starter version however even if the a spot crm is the most complete for most of the plan you still have some limitation with your starter plan the first limitation is about the creation 
of custom objects. You will have to limit yourself to the objects provided by a spot and will not have the possibility to create databases corresponding to your specific needs. You will also be limited in terms of the number or list you can create. The creation of active lists is essential in the proper management and organization of your database and your operations. A spot starter will limit you to 25 active lists and 1000 static lists. And actually 25 is really little considering that these active lists are also used to circumvent over limitation of the starter version. And the last limitation is about automatic management of your data. Because you cannot find the workflow feature and all the automation features in the starter plan, you will not be able to automate the cleaning or the generation of new information about your prospect data with the starter plan. And now the main advantage of Uspot tools regarding the other CRMs, and they are really proud of it because all the communication is based on that, is the marketing hub. Uspot in its final version is able to deal with every single aspect of your marketing strategy within one portal. So it's a perfect tool for big companies. However, for the starter version is really limited. So now let's see what you can and when you can do in marketing hub with the starter plan. According to me, Marketing Hub Starter Plan has been created to provide the basis of a really limited inbound strategy implementation. So it's really good for solopreneurs and small companies to create a minimalist lead generation strategy. To do so, you can play with these different features. First of all, in terms of traffic acquisition, you will be able to create and manage a blog, create a website, and you will be able to deal with your ad campaigns with Google, Meta, LinkedIn, etc. Now that you get traffic on your website, you will need to redirect it. And for that, a spot gives you a tool called CTA, so calls to action, which are pop-ups that aim to get the attention of your visitor and redirect them to a conversion page. And in terms of conversion, you will have the possibility to create and manage landing pages and create and manage conversion forms. At the end, you will be able to have limited autoresponder following the submission of a form through one email and the ability to send segmented manual emailing campaign. So basically, that's the only thing you can do in a spot starter plan. It's really minimalist, but it's working. However, as I said, a spot starter plan is really limited for marketing tools and a lot of them are not in your subscription plan. For instance, you will not be able to deal with any interaction or publication with your social media posts. You will not be able to trigger multi-automated email campaigns such as nurturing or do any other like deep automation in your portal. You will not be able to automatically qualify incoming leads to save time to your salespeople. You will not have the possibility neither to group all your marketing assets in under campaigns to be able to track their results and their goals. And you do not benefit from SEO advice tools. According to me, the biggest limitation of this marketing hub startup plan is that you cannot play with workflows, the automation tools. This simple feature brings so much potential and so much liberty into your portal management that it alone justifies, in my opinion, the purchasing of a pro version. The main function expected of a CRM is to simplify the daily life of a salespeople to maximize their efforts. Therefore, no surprise that a spot creates a lot of features that go this way. A spot certain plan gives us the possibility to really efficiently organize the daily tasks of a salesperson. You will be able to juggle really easily between the different objects of the same opportunity and will benefit from an efficient pipeline tool for organizing their sales opportunities. And in terms of communication, a spot will give a lot of tools for your salesperson. For instance, you will be able to benefit from a book meeting tool for your salesperson. They will also benefit from an email template or text block modules to simplify the writing of current emails in their daily life. And they will be able to incorporate files or quote documents directly in their email within one click. But actually, I think that what makes a spot sales starter a really good use for your salesperson is the fact that you will find all the different activities of a specific lead every time you will call it. Because a spot is able to track every call activity, every email activities, or every website visit activities. Every time you will call a lead, you will have all this information in one place so you can facilitate your sales process. However, the starter version is also limited as you expect and you will not be able to create automatic email sequences. You will not benefit from a conversational guide and you will not be able to do forecast for your sales results. Also, if you're using a spot startup plan, you will only have two seats for salesperson. Of course, you can pay a bit more to add new seats for your team. 
Spot has developed a whole range of different features aiming the customer success of your company. However, the startup version is really limited on that aspect. You will only be able to create a live chat and deal with tickets manually. The main advantage of a ticket tool is to be able to automate the generation, the assignment and the completion of some tickets. And I think not being able to do that is a big limitation for a spot startup plan. But actually, if you upgrade to a pro plan, you will have this ticketing automation features. You will also be able to send a lot of surveys like classic to our industry, such as NPS, CSAT, etc. And you will be able to propose a knowledge base, which is kind of an internal blog targeting your product or service features. The idea is to redirect your clients to this knowledge base if you have a specific question you already answered before, instead of taking the time of one of your team members. And the richness of a spot as an all-in-one tool is to be able to centralize and present all the data of your activity. The thing is, with Startup Plan, you will not be able to create custom dashboards and reports. You will only be able to pick the one they presented in the report library. But it's not that bad because as a spot understands all the main needs of companies, we create all the dashboards that help you track and manage your results. The thing is, every company has their own specific KPIs. And to make your reports and dashboard match these KPIs, you will not be able to do it in Startup Plan as you cannot modify those reports or create new ones. So now that we saw every single features of a spot startup plan compared to the pro version, we need to understand that for $30 a month, it's really a good deal for solopreneurs and small companies. I don't think I know another tool that can play with all these different areas for that chip. But the thing is, we should not consider a startup plan for what it's not. It's not a test version of the Uspot Pro plan. As we said, it answers different needs and different capacities. And if you use it for a test for your pro version, you will not be able to test anything and you will not have a clear view on what a spot can bring you. If you're thinking about migrating to a spot and have questions on what this software can bring to your company, I would be really happy to discuss it with you in the link in the description. It was Greg, I wish you a great week and see you next Monday.